hope welcome back to my channel and it's so cool actually the sun is not really shining for two days it's there but we have clouds and this is like scary <laughs> very new for me in the sun you know in the summertime in california so i'm enjoying that i'm just taking a look at how it turned out and it turned out pretty well i don't know if you can see the little dots of glitter in there but they are definitely there and i think the lower part turned out really good too so i'm going to use that like this in the future but right now i want to start and finish something <laughs> so let's just start so we can finish something and um yeah first things first distressing so this is a doily i coffee dyed but i still want to distress it on the edge just to make it stand up more i guess i don't even know just because i like it it looks pretty <laughs> why do we do things because they look pretty i guess <laughs> when we do something it looks pretty okay well got my butterfly here okay walked my treadmill again oh my god this thing is going to kill me but it's fine if it doesn't make me if it doesn't kill me it will make me healthier and i'm waiting for that part to come <laughs> So, you know, I will either die on there or I will get healthier. We will see which one it's going to be. See, I'm just going slightly going around the whole thing here. Because I also want a little bit of color on that. And of course, of course, a tiny bit of blue will go on there too. Not too much though. I will just kind of randomly... And I will also put a tiny bit of blue on here. I don't know which is going, which part is going to be visible and which part is not. But Whoop. just lost my washi tape. But isn't it perfect? It fits perfectly on that. <laughs> I think it's really cool. And see, that's what I meant. It goes like all together, and it's all one. I'm not a very Mm, I don't know, experienced person when it comes to colors and combinations and whatever. I don't really know the rule for what goes with what. I can just do what I what I see. <laughs> so that's why if there's something that actually doesn't go with that, well, so be it because I don't see. All I can see is that it does. Right now I'm thinking let's Let's check this out. Let's see if we should use more of my below cheesecloth. But I don't know. No, because, oh, no. Never mind. Scratch that. Because I am not going to glue the butterfly all the way on top. That's why. And then you were always meant to fly. Okay, so gluing the doily down that's what i'm gonna do put my needle right there so i remember let's glue this baby down i definitely am going to finish this page in this video i know i shouldn't be saying that too loud but i am because that's what i'm going to do i'm done <laughs> I don't like gluing doilies <laughs> just because it always takes so long to get any glue on anything okay I don't need much here for the middle part because it's everything is hopefully going to be stuck okay Line up, push, glue, right? 
I always, or most of the time, I try to use my bone folder for gluing down stuff. I think it's really good. I didn't do it before I learned it. Because then you really get the glue like everywhere. Everywhere you need it. Okay, and now my butterfly. Let me see real quick. Yeah, I think my butterfly is going to go that way. I wasn't sure if I wanted this way or the other way around, but I think I wanted this way around. Mm -mm. I wanted this way around. And then I'm not going to glue it down all the way. I will leave this part open because I might or might not, you know, push something in there because then it can be another another spot, tuck spot, I guess you call it. So I could, I could do something in there, but I like it just here. So that's why I'm going to glue it down there. But because I have some glitter on the sides and whatever, I want to use the art glitter glue just to make sure that this one sticks properly. If you hear noises, it's because we are getting new houses built. So they are building and that's why it's kind of noisy. Okay, just put some glue. I'm only going to put it on the sides, like I said, because I only want to glue the sides and that's how I want to go. Maybe a little bit up, which is okay. I know I slid all over now, but it's fine. It's art glitter glue. It's going to dry clear and the inside pocket doesn't have to be too big. But I think it's really pretty. And now I'm going to get my saying right here. Not going to mess with that too much. I'll just put a little bit of the blue on top just because I printed it on coffee dyed paper already so I don't need much of anything like I said I'm going to cut it though I'm not going to keep it as one sentence but I can do this already so I don't forget Up. Uh oh, hopefully I don't lose the little pieces here, right? <laughs> I'm going to lose those. I'm feeling it already. <laughs> okay, you were always meant oh the two is so short to fly yay okay I definitely need to clean my tweezers I mess everything up okay now how do I want that let me line this up let me put it on top first You were always meant to, you know, I'm wondering if I want to do it here or even there. First, I was actually going to put it onto the butterfly, but let me see. That's why I, I made it short words. That's not bad too, huh? Look. It's kind of pretty. I don't know now. And I could put like some little banner where... Let me see. I do have so many leftover papers. Like I even have my 
papers here and the pieces I cut off and oh my god I have I just have a lot of papers a lot of papers because I kept them all just in case I need a strap with something and right now I'm just trying to see something I could make a strip actually let's think I think I like that I still have some of this leftover paper I just tried to get through my tool I had that piece and now I'm thinking maybe I should I will distress that of course Maybe I should do something like a little banner here and then just use some, what's this? Yeah, that's just a thick, where did I put the washi tape? Use some washi tape because, you know, <laughs> we're just working it, right? <laughs> Yes, we are. Come on, just just admit it, guys. Just admit it. I can admit it. I'm hoarding mine. Just like I hoard my papers. Okay. I'll just put a strip of washi tape on top. Cut the tiny pieces off. And then see how that looks. Some... maybe something else as well I don't know I don't know I'm not a banner maker I don't know how to make those I don't really make those some people just have you know they have it in their blood they know exactly what they are doing this and then a shorter one maybe in another color what else we got here oh that wouldn't really <coughs> go well would it Okay. No. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Let me see. Found one. Found one. Look, just because I have um, notes over there as well. What is on here? Okay, I'm going to cut this down. And I will also keep the little strip here as well. Oh my God. Somebody has to teach me. How to cut stuff straight that looks kind of straight i don't know does it look straight no oh my goodness okay it looks straight now i think i'm just going to cut it to a banner as well wait wait i will show you oh like this put this there put this there a little bit shorter and then just put this one on top and move it all right here. So there is no empty spot, you know? I think that's not bad. Okay. I'm going to glue this down first. Otherwise it's gonna, you know, disappear. We know it, right? I know it at least you can't you think my desk is messy from what you can see you have no idea <laughs> you know I have my desk is much bigger than the <laughs> portion you can see it's actually three desks and trust me trust me they are all looking worse than that <laughs> so whatever you were always meant to fly if I was always meant to fly I should be flying I am flying sometimes I'm happy I I'm not flying off my treadmill <laughs> this thing scared me to death at the beginning I was just thinking oh my god I will never be able to step on it or step off it but it worked 
and I'm pretty good now. Even if I just, you know, really go really, really, really slow. As long as I do step by step by step, I'm getting somewhere. And I'm better than not doing all those steps, if this makes sense. We gotta keep moving somehow. Okay, where's my piece? Right here. Because I have my blue on top already. I'm just going to use that first. And it might look very blue, but as we know, I'm going to put more on there. I don't know how long it's going to be, so I'm going to just do that. Ha, this time I'm going to be much smarter and just use the same for everything first. Okay. What am I doing? Why am I holding this piece, actually? Anyways. Okay, so blue done. I don't know about the... Nah, come on. Let's do a tiny bit of pink as well. Wow, that was a lot of pink. But that's not going to be that visible once I have the other stuff on top. Am I doing pink on that one a little? Just a little. It's not going to be visible anyways that much. Once again, I'm going to do the... What is it called? Gathered wigs. I don't think there's a big difference between this one and I forgot what the other one was called. Am I just trusting the right side? Okay, why am I holding this again? I just wanted to hold this for that part. Okay. That little part right here. Everything else should be fine. No, I think I can get a better result like that. Okay, your time is running out, Irina. <laughs> Did you see? I, I just put it in there. Hurry up, girl, because I really want to finish. I don't want to work on the same page for three videos here. Okay, but we can, I'm just going to take this. Because I want one of them to really like have this dark spots. Oh shoot, that's even better. Okay guys, never mind. I'm, I'm darkening this one up. But I need to put a tiny bit of any other color on top. Because I don't want it to be like the same. Just like this brown. Okay, done. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. No, what did I want to do? Okay, I wanted this on top of that, a little bit like that. Use some glue and do it. All the way up there. All the way up there. No, actually I should not have done that, but it's okay. It's still good. Everything is still good right here. Okay. Now let's get some glue on that part. Right here. And I want it to kind of go in the middle of that. Something like that. I don't know. I think it's fine. It doesn't look too bad. Like I said, I'm not somebody who does that all the time. So I'm missing something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe when I'm done with the page. But for right now, I want to glue it down right there. And I think some scotch tape will do. Okay, somewhere around here. Yeah, I think here looks good. Uh, maybe here. I know it must not be a big difference for you, but it is a big difference for me. 
Okay, let me cut off the leftover piece. It's much easier when you make them longer, you know. This piece can actually be used somewhere else as well. I feel it. What do you think? I think it worked out pretty good. But the best is yet to come because the best is to put it all on top of this part. And I'm going to do some scotch tape for that right here and here and then just whew, line up my lace okay looks good and this is gonna go right on top of that I don't want the bulk in there so there's that okay more scotch tape. I definitely need more surface to work on. <laughs> I wish I had a second a second um, desk I could just pull out, you know, and put on top of this and just keep working. <laughs> and when it gets messed up, I just, <laughs> I just get my third desk <laughs> and put on top of the second one and just keep working. <laughs> well, that would be cool. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, so, oh shoot, I need to just trust this because otherwise it's going to be too bright and I'm not going to get in there anymore when I glue it down and everything. So I just want it to be a little bit darker here. Nothing big and just in case I will do a little bit on the bottom and top of my page okay does it look all right it does okay now I can glue it down I guess where is the top of my page right there would that be good I think that would be perfect that the top of my page right there it is okay oh that's really good oh I should have put yeah just like last time I didn't do it I didn't do it this time either come on oh my god Okay, let me cut this off, the leftover piece right here, and on that side, I'm going to use some free check on both once again. Oh, I love that I got that. I don't know, I think she got it at Joanne's. I can't say, but it's just some fluid that you put on the corners of your ribbon or whatever and then it's gone it's it looks like this just for those of you who don't know because i didn't know so i'm sharing oh i like that look and the best thing is i can slide something in here so if i decide to make a card where i'm actually thinking about making a sliding a letter in there look this one looks very very cool i think so you know what why not just do it right let's see i got those at oh come on <laughs> what you call it aliexpress oh my god i forgot the name of aliexpress can you imagine that let's just go with this one it don't matter right they all look similar but of course there will be just trussing. It looks very pretty already. But now we have to make it look a little bit more pretty, right? Just a little, not much. It does look kind of dark already and, you know, messed up. 
but I still want more of that. And especially, I do want the inside to be darker because that's very white. And I will also use some blue and pink. Are you surprised? No, tell me you're not. It just makes everything like, I don't know, better. I need to get a little bit onto the inside here, at least. Okay. Now that was a lot of blue on the inside. And a lot of blue on the outside. I will need the dark one again. This kind of distress is really good. Some papers don't and some do, but this one has something on top of it that makes it easier to distress. So it takes more color. should be more careful with my pink right oh it doesn't look bad at all I'm also going to open it and try to get a little bit on the inside it doesn't have to be really like clean on the inside just a blob of color right there and like I said, I have to go back because I didn't do anything like that right here. Okay. Okay. Better. Alrighty. I think it looks pretty good. Now here, let me see. Of course, I'm going to be sticking a piece of paper in there, right? Let me just cut a little. Because this time I want to try it. This is very, yeah, I knew it. This is very, very thin paper and it will rip, it will, so careful, but that's fine with this one because I want it to be more damaged. Done. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that you have to do all that to a piece of paper <laughs> before you can make it pretty? <laughs> oh. oh, it fell on it. That's fine. If you have been with me from the beginning, you will know why I did that <laughs> and if not you might just think that I went crazy but if you do that and then you put your distress ink on top you see it just it like builds mountains and valleys right and then you get the darker portion on your mountain top and I like that It takes a while though, <laughs> but it's fun. You should try it because people are always concerned to, you know, do something or make something. Oh, what if it doesn't work out? What if it breaks? What if it rips? What if whatever they are thinking? But if you craft something like that, you are actually wanting for something or, you know, you are happy about something to break or rip or <laughs> something. So you don't have to worry about anything. I love it. I love it. It's my first time doing stuff, making a journal like that. And I'm in love. I wish I could make another one right away. But first of all, 
I don't think I have the energy to do that because it takes a lot of time and hours. It's super fun. And the second thing is I have other projects to do. <laughs> I have things to make. I have happy mail to send out. You know, I have stuff to do. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I wish I had two lives in one. I wish I would live in two dimensions, you know, right away. Okay, now I'm going to use some of the blue, just some of the blue. I'm not going to do the same thing like I did with the brown. And I'm definitely not going to use pink on that. I think I like it just as it is. Okay. And now my carefully destroyed paper will go back to being a pretty <laughs> folded piece of paper. Oh no, I still want it. See, now I have to take it apart again. I wanted to do my little stamping on there. And I wonder, did I have a, another butterfly? I know what I want to put on there, I think. C1B, let me get it. Now I know that this one is pretty big, but I really like it. So I'm going to use that. I'm not going to pay attention to um, having it inked up like super duper good. And I will probably just also not stamp the whole thing on there. Ooh, <laughs> that's so pretty. I love this stuff. Look, I just want a little bit of something to be there, you know, so I can actually have a piece of paper which is pretty to write on, right? Okay, and this is how easy I can clean my stamp. But I'm not done. I want to put a little birdie here. Okay, we have this part. This is probably where I'm going to start to write and that's where I would stop. <laughs> There was another butterfly to go with that. Okay. Just a little birdie. That's all I want. I need to see where birdie's top and bottom is, you know? Okay. Done. Done for today, too. Not for today, but for now, for sure. Oh, okay, let me put the rose back in. I don't know if I would do anything else. How big is this thing? That's way too big. So I have to fold it and I have to fold it again. Stick it into what is that oh that's a piece of my banner <laughs> i will stick this part into the envelope so it can be written on and i hope it will still fit if not i will have to make another one and cut it shorter okay okay oh it fits <laughs> i'm loving this so this is how it looks and I'm going to once again put some glossy accent on top of the words just because I like it more when it's on there and now this page is sturdy so it can you know support both great let me take a look oh I took that out because I took a picture that's not good how did I fold it actually I fold this in and I fold this in. See, I forget to put things back in. Go back in. Oh my God, gorgeous. Is it bad to say like, oh, it's gorgeous about something you made? You know, it's like you are patting yourself on the back, but I'm really in love with that. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad to say or not. Even this, this is like, doesn't have anything to it. Like anything. 
I'm still um, thinking, and I will probably do that as well. I want some pearls or something somewhere on this one. Let me see this one. This one did glue down, so that's perfect. Okay, so we are done for today, for now, for this episode, and almost for the book. You know, I want to go back and um, stick some more lace somewhere. So it kind of is lacy and maybe a little bit more stuff to come out, like pearls or something. So we will see about that. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. And I really love it. This is what the butterfly was meant for. I didn't know what I was making it for when I started making it. But now I know. <laughs> because that seems like it was made right for this part. And I'm loving that. So, once again, a look. I think my banner turned out pretty good. It's not quite straight, but <laughs> still good. <laughs> if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, check out the description, check out my new channel, like I'm always telling you. And just stay tuned for the next episode and enjoy your day. I see you next time. Bye-bye.